All right, good morning, guys. Um, I'm gonna do a little testing today. It's some of my, um, basically, it's some of my temp temperature testing devices. What I got here is I got the uh, Test 0557. I'm testing those two probes there for um, see how accurate they are. I got my 570 Testo, which is my go-to meter every day. I'm gonna test those and see how accurate everything is, you know. And I got my five five fifty over here. Um, I got my field piece uh, SC seventy six, and I'm gonna be checking this thermistor. And also, I got the basically it's for like seven eighths clamp. I'll check that one. And this is my thirty six field piece thirty six expandable meter. And I'll be checking this thermocouple. Um, I got a couple of um, Coopers here. I use these meters for years. What I like about this is you can hook these two probes up. Um, back when I used my analog gauges, this is what I use. I just clamp this on with one of those little, one of those little clamps on a suction and liquid line. And um, you know, just by pushing one or two. The temperature reading will come up here with the different one, different ones. You don't have to keep switching things around. And um, you know, this is very nice. You got the differential, min max. These are great. And I also got one of this. This here also plugs in. I'm gonna check that today. Now this is my other Cooper, which this one here is pretty cool because it has the two um, sensing ports where you can temp temperature one, temperature two. And also, uh, with this one, you can do wet bulb, dry bulb, and relative humidity on the number three setting. Which is um, a little bit different. I don't know if you can see that down in there, but uh, I didn't, never really use this too much anymore. Um, because I got my little uh, field piece pocket unit that I use. And this is my new meter that I just bought. Eddie has, Eddie has this, Fritz. Ray just bought one. Um, I believe Dallas is going to be getting one from what I hear through the grapevine, so. And, um, I'm just learning it. It's a little bit different. And this one's got the Type K thermocouple, like you'd use on a fluke. So I'm going to check that out. And also, I got my little Cooper. A little handheld device. You know, I got more stuff, but this is enough to play around with for today. And how I'm going to test this stuff is I'm going to get a uh, ice bath going. I'm going to put, you know, this ice. I went and I bought a, a bag of ice. And I'll add a little bit of water. And basically, you know, with all that ice in there, with a little bit of water, it should be right around 32 degrees. Maybe 33 or 32 and a half. But that's going to be close enough, for, you know, for the stuff that I do. And seeing if these sensing bulbs are accurate or they're not. This way I know, because like Eddie says... If you're not testing, you're guessing, so that's what I want to do here today. So let's get started. Alright guys, I basically just dumped the ice in there. And um, ice freezes at 32. This is at 30. So don't forget, now I got this ice, it was at the supermarket, basically Cumberland Farms. And so it might have been colder than 32. At 32 it's going to melt, so we're about 30 according to this meter. So I'm going to do a couple other ones and we'll do a comparison um, as we go. And I'll do is I'll, you know, when I do that one, I'll check it with this one. So we know more or less um, the differential between the two. I'm not saying that's accurate or not. I'm just saying that's what I'm going to go by as, you know, a quick, a quick judge here. Okay. Alright guys, I got them all set up here and I got all my measuring devices in the ice bath here. Basically is um is ice water and I got some water down in the bottom and I got them all submerged in that water. You can see, make sure they're all down in the water and I put an ice on it. Okay. Now we're going by these thermistors, so they, they might be off a little bit. That's why I'm doing this test to see how accurate they are if you know there's something I can trust with the reading if I'm out in the field doing my work um, so just because you know it's off don't mean the meter's off um, this the mister might be off so this first uh, field piece uh, clamp meter which is a nice setup um, 
SC76, which is a very common meter used by a lot of the techs on YouTube. I got it down on my uh, temperature setting here, um, 340. And uh, we're 33.1 degrees on that one. This one over here, the fuel piece 36, I'm at 31.2. I got a light I can put that on. It makes it a little easier to see. Okay. And my new amp probe, I'm at 31.9. I got a light on this one too somehow, I think. I just... There I go. Sorry, I hit the calc, uh, Celsius. There we go. Oh, I got the light on. The nice meter right here, this clamp meter. Um, I just got some nice uh, five foot fluke leads for it with all the little crimpers, little grabbers. Got it all in this little bag right This little pencil kit. I put all my stuff in. You know, and I'm also going to run the fluke leads on my fuel piece meter because the problem with these fuel piece meters is these ends are different if you pull these ends off um, this particular one doesn't come off but I'm sorry these are the ones I'm talking about right here these ends right here if you pull these off these ends are different than the fluke ends so you can't use your fluke ends if you're using these leads from the fuel piece so I'm gonna run myself I'm gonna run all uh, fluke leads on all my meters so I could put these clamps on the end at any time these and these it's a different end so, that's just what I'm gonna do but anyway sorry um let's get back to this All right now on this meter I have three temperature settings on this Koopa so temperature one is 31.4 I got a backlight here somewhere. Light. Well, that's red. Cool. Huh? All right. Now just put temperature two. Switch it over to two. That one's saying low. So that one might be bad. That the mister. Let's check temperature for our probe three. Okay. With the light. Thirty-one point nine. So this this um, number two temperature probe. I'm gonna try switching it over to a different one and see if I get a different reading. Maybe it's the meter that's bad. So we'll just do a test here. I'll switch it over. Okay. See, so now it's reading on that. So let's switch it over because we know the other one was reading. All right. Let's hit number two and go back. No, oh, maybe I had a bad connection there, guys, because. Um, I'm doing okay now here. Maybe I had a bad connection. Don't forget, some of this stuff's been... I haven't used these in a while. They've been sitting around, so... Let's see. Yeah, so we're 30 degrees there, so... You know, as long as I'm within one degree temperature, um, I'd feel safe by using that thermistor out in the field. Because, you know, the stuff that we work on, it's... You know, it would be nice to be perfect, but... Yeah, so that one there, that number three, that, that third probe there that I moved, that was one in the second. I probably wouldn't use that one because that one is off by, you know, about a degree and a half. So I have enough of these clamps and these uh, thermistors and meters. I don't need to be playing around. So that one there, that one right there, I'm not going to use. So I'll unplug that one. And I'll throw that sucker in the scrap pile. I'll go right there for now. Let's check this other one out. Now this one only has the two probes. And the um, wet bulb, dry bulb setup. Let me turn the light on for you guys so you can see. All right, so we're on um, temperature temperature one probe, 31.7, and temperature two probe, 31.2. So you know everything seems pretty close here. Now I'm on temperature uh, setting three, which it says low because I pulled that probe out. So let's go back to two. 31.9 backlight. This one's 31. Point, you know, two. So I'm all close, very close. I'm closer than I thought it was going to be. Now this thing might be off a little bit. I'm thinking that this is off. Yeah, this one's definitely, definitely off. 
Sorry about the degree. Let's let's do it realistically here. Let me take it out and let me shoot it into the water. Well, there was one of them probes that was out. If that one probe was out, I had one probe that was kind of sticking out of the water. Let me double check this one again, guys. I might have been getting a false reading there. Bear with me. Backlight. Probe 3. Whoa. That one's fucked. That one's screwed. Probe 3. So we know something's going on with that probe. We're going to pull that probe out. That's the one I was having issues with. So we will not use that one. All right. Now I have my, my other clamp here, my thermocouple clamp right here. I'm going to try it into this meter here. Well, this one, this thermal uh, mister was off a little bit. This thermocouple was off by about 2 degrees, this one here. Okay, so let me try putting this probe in there and see what we got here. Hang on a second. Alright guys, that's looking a lot better. Um, 31.9 or 30... 31.932. What's this one say? 31. Close. 32. 31. Within a degree? Come on now. That's very close. So this one that I pulled out, I'm going to try putting it into this other 36 meter and see what happens. So this one's saying 31. Let me try switching it over. At least way here I know if these are accurate or not. So if I'm using them out in the field, I know if they're, they're right on or what the story is. I'm saying 31.6 now, so maybe it's the meter. Let me try taking this one here and switching it over to this meter. This is the one that was reading the 31 on the 36. Um, hang on a minute. Within a degree. Let me switch it. Thirty-one point five. Yeah, the only thing about this meter is it's got no backlight. I like the backlight on the thirty-six, but to be honest with you. Um, this 36 is a true RSM uh, RMS meter, and um, there's got a delay on the reading. So when you put your your volt, um, when you're checking for voltage and stuff, and you put your clamps on there or your probes, um, there's like a five second delay before you get the proper voltage. So um, I don't really trust it. I like when I put a meter on there, I want to put my stuff on there, and I want to see if there's 240 there, or I don't want to be waiting no five seconds. Mm. This one's showing. You don't forget now when you put these probes in, if they're if they're off a little bit or they're not tight or not making a good connection, you might we might be off a little bit. But I, I'm saying all this stuff is. I'm very impressed with the accuracy of all this stuff. Um, the only one I had a problem with is um, this one here. All right, what I'm going to do next is um, I'm going to get my testos all up and set up up there, and let's see what we got going on with these. Should be interesting. Hang on.